I wanted to create a quick video on an area that I was initially struggling with, and that is removing the tank. And it wasn't necessarily removing the tank, but it was all the stuff that I had to take off. And I watched a variety of different videos and watched some upshift videos, and all the plastic stuff came off with no problem. But where I really struggled with was this guy right here. This, uh, I guess, puts power to the fuel pump. And I tell you what, try to get this particular connector right down in here to press this one little area was a real booger. So what I wound up doing was at Harbor Freight, and I forgot I actually bought this a couple years ago, this snap ring plier set. And this is the guy that I wound up using. And uh, what I did is I was able to then compress with one hand the little tab on this guy right here. And then I was able to pull this with the other hand and it just popped right out. It, it, it allowed it to depress it enough where it just slid right out. And that was a huge win. And I just did it again in like five seconds. It was no big deal. But the first time I didn't use this and I was, I was using all sorts of different gadgets and screwdrivers and pliers and nothing worked. But this guy is just enough where he presses it right there and you can do it all with one hand. So hopefully this will save you guys some frustration because as you know, you gotta take this tank off to get access to the air box and air filter and all that. And what I'm in the process of doing is I bought a set of, of uh, Rottweiler fuel dongles and uh, I'm gonna put that in and put these O2 plugs in the bike because it's a little jerky at lower RPM and I just want a little bit smoother transition when taking off. So anyway, that's what I got going on. Hope this helps.